Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think it's time we could just uh, move on basically with the DVDs, Blu-ray updates and start going back to originally the reviews. Oh yeah, I basically just wanted to basically do some uh, more mini reviews which they have basically personally movies I enjoy watching. Uh, this time around, we're going to review none of them than this one type of movie that probably everybody is basically talking about originally now, originally with the uh, fourth movie coming out today. Uh, really just basically have no competitive with basically with the proper sequels and prequels and all this stuff. I am really, of course, talking about the American Pie Trilogy. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I am President Martin Reviews. 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 Welcome back. Well, what can I say about the American Pie Trilogy? It's probably the one leases, and probably the far more teen comedy movies that out there originally. Now, to be said, to be there, what do you know much about the American Pie movie? You wasn't even born this time. The first movie came out in 1999. Well, let's just say I was nearly tried to was born early to quite late. But as I was basically was heard about the. Uh, the movies itself, I was pretty obvious to kind of check them out. So, what I felt about the films itself, well, obviously I had no problem with them, because, like, it's really kind of based on, not this, like, kind of like the, uh, what could I, how could I say it, but how could I say it? Um, it's more kind of like meets, uh, Adam House to Porky's. But the only thing I find it pretty obvious about, uh, the, about the trilogy itself is that in the first film, you get to see the Proper little guys, well, for instance, you know, in the part of the plot of the story, in the proper the part of the plot, I had no problem with basically what they was, uh, well, well, let's see. I don't probably have no gains of this, what the film itself is basically, uh, stands for, but the only thing I find it pretty obvious about the, the first film, uh, of course, basically, in the first film, we get to see the boys eventually, you know, plan on having sex for the first time after they graduate from high school. Which, um, pretty obvious, which is that that stands for a lot of which about uh, the wackiness and the goofiest and probably the most serious of scenes you've probably ever been managed. Especially, I think, um, what's his face, which is what the actor's name, um, Jason Biggs, uh, played by, uh, play the character Jim. <laughs> have very contentious uh, counter that were basically uh, humping a pie. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious that that scene, it's pretty much funny originally, but when I was watching it, I'm thinking, well, the way that, you know, the character Jim experienced basically what it feels like being in third place feels like, it's pretty obvious that he had a very similar idea to just go for a, a way to basically say, you know, I'm going to hump this apple pie that my mother made for me, and I'm just going to go right to space with that. And then I do like the scene where he, when he's basically uh, on the countertop of the kitchen, which is uh, kind of obvious that you get to see him this humping the pie version. Because uh, on, uh, on this version here, you have him versus standing on the, on the kitchen counter while his dad is basically coming around in the kitchen and see him basically on top of the pie. But there's actually two scenes which is basically there's one which is the astronomical version and one of the uh this version right here I have it in my hand. So the obvious thing about the, about this one is actually far more outrageous which and I haven't originally got around to watch the uh, regular version. But I have originally watched the, the the actual movie version of it and it's pretty obvious that, that scene which is him is like sing uh uh front of the uh kitchen counter which is gonna be on the top of the kitchen counter. Which is pretty obvious that there's a, there's a little bit more scenes about him. And, see, there's a little bit more scenes of Jim and the pie sequence where him is basically on the uh, front on the on the top of the counter of the kitchen countertop. But uh, <laughs> what can I say about it? Is that that's probably the most hilarious scene. But I think the most 
probably the funniest scene and probably the most embarrassing scene was just at all time is when Jim's dad uh, brings uh, him some porn magazines and <laughs> and explains a little bit of how the women's you know you know gender's body parts are supposed to be like you know for I think you know, I think one I think he was saying about the female format female form of how the breasts are are like to of course in the, in the pubic area originally. I mean, when you're basically a, you know, a teenager, you get privy, you experience about the sex, sex and everything else, how it feels, how do you really feel like. Now, for, to me, as a 24-year-old, I always think that in certain, in certain uh, sex teen comedy, it's also been mentioned a bit about, you know, drama, about drama and major play. And that's what, of course, with this one, because you get not only basically comedy or basically just out, laugh out loud funny, but you also get like a little bit of drama, like you get to see the, the, the characters driven towards the other characters. Like I think when, um, uh, what's this character, what's this other character's face? Uh, Ozzy, who basically was trying to date this, uh, uh, this perfectly nice girl who is basically singing to a choir. And he's trying to not to basically, you know, get into it with this, with this girl, but he's also very attracted to her. So. In the course of basically towards the first film, you get to see him, you know, explaining to him, explaining his his uh, his thoughts that yes, he's a virgin, and yes, he's trying to not to just like uh, get to into with the with any kind of girl. He wants a, a very sensible girl who can you know fall in love with and be you know flirt with and all that stuff. You know, that's a that's a that's a whole wise which you know we as you know uh, young uh, people as we live in the, in the world, we see ourselves as really special. You know, maybe a trash is with basically with somebody, but uh, that being said, it's pretty obvious that <laughs> uh, that the jokes are pretty well funny. But I like the fact which that they make uh, the film itself because the writer name uh, what's his face Adam uh, I can't pronounce his name, but uh, Adam really wanted to make a film to based on that really uh, you know high school field. And when I was watching it, I think in probably the age probably age seventeen when I start watching the first film and then start going on with the second and third um, is you get to see the characters in their proper gantual form like for instance Jim is more the the topical uh, shy contemporary uh, insect dude uh, um, Kevin is more like the kind of like trying to be infiltrated with his girlfriend and trying to tell her that she that he loves her so much, but uh, it didn't work that much towards the end. Um, you got Ozzy, who you got Oz, who is basically this this the the counter of Jock, who is actually the nice guy, which the, the natural, the typical nice guy field. And it's pretty obvious of that, which is, that character is a lot more interesting, usually. But I think the one character I think I find pretty obvious, and this is probably a lot of fans out there who. Who enjoys this character so much is Stifler because he's like the typical jock, asshole, douchebag, um, all around the funny guy. But he he comes into stride and be as a kind of a little bit just a little bit juicy because you don't see him you know be too hard on the of the gang. You see him be more just a little tender and just you know get some uh, get the boys more conceptive. A sense of their self trying to, you know, eventually get laid with Because that's where the basic movie starts off. It starts off with about a bunch of, you know, Kev, a bunch of Jim and the others trying to, you know, having sex for the first time when they graduate from uh, from high school and, you know, all that stuff originally. Just, yeah. <laughs> they prefer to get stuff laid after when they graduate. That's what Kevin is trying to get the boys to get to do. Uh, you get this, but the only thing I'm pretty obvious is about the other character, Finch, um, He's kind of like the very kind of the calm, smooth, very well kind of the peaceful guy. Finch is more kind of like that kind of some uh, similar like the character who uh, convinces himself being more. Um, how can I say? More kind of just being more sensitive to himself, but he does which is stride himself with towards a very attractive with women, especially with Stiffa's mom. I mean, it's just like obvious that, that scene when he and the Stiffa's mom are just having sex, and then. Uh, in another scene, when Stiffer comes into the, uh, I guess, the pool room when they were finished having sex, and Stiffer was just having a horrible shock. I mean, it's just like a disaster, which is uh, hilarious. I was seeing him just basically being to her when he sees his mother just having sex with, uh, with, with a teenager. But, you know, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a proper part of it. 
but I love how the first movie was really kind of corporate. Now, uh, in the second film, it's pretty obvious the same thing as, as the first version. But the only thing that's different is, is you see all the gang which they come together as as one big group. It's, it's like summer camp. It's like where they, they went to college and they go into this uh, summer beach uh, uh, field that they spend, you know, quality time with together and try to, you know, have a good time and spend, you know, what... It's, it's kind of almost like, um, I don't know which movie it was, but it's kind of, it, it feels like kind of like that movie that you want to feel like that you really are in a very wonderful time uh, and in a wonderful great of the place that you could just have a ball, you just have a great time together with you and your friends and all the time. And it really kind of splits out. The only thing I find obvious which is that in the first film, in the first film, um, Nadia, who is the estranged student, uh, had a very considerable interest, interest with Jim, but Jim didn't ever got a chance with Nadia. So, <laughs> so when he set up the webcam to try to have, you know, his quote unquote friends, which they to, you know, see him having sex with Nadia, um, he kind of just kind of gets nervous and starts to, I guess, you know, I had to use the word shit his pants, but he actually just piss his pants. Because, you know, you know, when you're basically, you know, nervous and having sex for the first time, you just kind of get to them. But um, in the second film, when he's trying to have into a little bit with Nadia, <laughs> he gets some life lessons with the bank named Michelle, who in the first film, uh, we see Michelle uh, be more contented with, uh, with Jim, but in the end of towards the, the first film, she left uh, him just basically by using him having sex. But in this movie, in this, in the second film, we see you know Michelle have deep thoughts and deep uh, feelings for 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 Jim because yeah, a he's a, a dork himself. B he's just like any kind of dork person you could basically meet in any kind of uh, person through high school. I mean that's that, that's the that's the general way when you're trying to meet somebody who you know through high school and then they you know they branch this up be as a um, how can I say. Just the standalone originally just at originally, but it's pretty obvious that that originally it's just this, uh, kind of interesting to see that originally the way of it is. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I actually enjoy these two films, by the way, originally, because they are pretty much are some of the emblems of this. Now, I will say in the third America Pie film, America Wedding, it's pretty obvious. It's like focused on uh, Jim and Michelle. A lot more originally because you get to see the feel of basically both Michelle and Jim have more connections with each other because after when they you know graduate from college and all that stuff and go into their sort of quote unquote uh, jobs careers and stuff like that is we get to see you know uh, these these two members the characters actually really have commitments and then just say you know what I'm gonna marry this band girl who I met through the uh, band camp. <laughs> And just go over over there, but uh, it's pretty obvious that the third film is a lot more. Well, it's kind of hard to explain, but the third film is pretty well, pretty well funny, especially with like I think when uh, Stifler, Kevin, and I think Finch. Because the only thing I find obvious about in the third film is that the the original cast wasn't back in the third film. They probably didn't really want to basically continue up, or basically they just have other movies that they just, they just are doing or whatever. But a pretty obvious is that this was only basically the only character you could get to see basically in this third film. So, to my extent, I think that it's pretty sad to see the other characters, you know, who are featured in the first and the second American Pie movie, um, never really have much in common to be on, back on. So, yeah, I, I think it's kind of really a shame. But I do like the fact, Richard, that you do see, you know, Stiffer be more kind of a, uh, Less more immature version, but he still kind of have his his ways to try to be more um, uh, segmented. And that's the phone. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was my phone versus his ring. Uh, sorry about the conclusion. But anyway, like I said before, the third film is pretty well obvious. It's probably a little bit more hilarious. But the only thing I find pretty obvious with the third film is that it's not really towards the two uh, main American Pie movies because this one's more kind of like you know seeing. The two of the main characters in in the first two, and seeing them come together and actually have um, good standard and probably unoriginally um, 
<laughs> twist romantic relationship. So you get to see that image in the third film. Now, I know in the fourth film, uh, American Reunion, it's pretty obvious. It's basically pretty. It's the same for as the as for the second two, along with the third. But the only thing I find obvious about the uh, uh, about the fourth film, I did see the trailers of it, and I think it's pretty obvious that they come back to have their romantic reunion. And they have all the characters, all the characters there. You have Nadia. You have uh, Vicky. Um, I forgot what the other character her, her other character was, but you know, you know what I mean. The the whole entire cast, including Jim's mom, including Jim's. Uh, dad and uh, Stephanie's mom, which I think is pretty obvious at the end of the trailer that Jim's dad and Stephanie's mom are kind of connected with each other, which is pretty obvious, kind of weird. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's pretty obvious to, to really come in. So, now you've probably seen the the images of the the plot of base of the story, and I know pretty much everybody's going to be going to see the, the fourth film. And let's basically look at the packaging of the DVD itself. So let's, let's first start off with the first film. This is actually loaded with basically. This is actually the uh, the unrated version of the movie itself. I did have the R-rated version of it, but this is since the country is a lot more, far more better. So I know this base. I know in the fat version, the the Blu-ray version has all the content on the base on each on 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 each uh, disc. The only thing which I will probably never probably pick up is probably get the Blu-ray version. So we have, uh, let's see. I think Richard, I'm trying to remember these characters. And we have Heather. We have Heather. We have Vicky, and we have Michelle, the redheaded uh, chick. I think uh, what's her name was. I can't really remember these actors' names, but you know the whole time of the cast was like. And then you got a nice uh, poster version of it. This was actually the standard version of the poster for sale, basically one of the uh, movie posters that actually printed out originally over the years. Well, qu of course, of basically when the, sh when the movie came out, I mean. <laughs> I can't really talk about that version, but anyway. You got the front cover. You got the spine. So. Got the American Pie logo. And it's loaded with basic features. It's loaded with so much features, really. And actually, it's pretty obvious. Really. And then we open it up. We have the disc itself. And also, in addition to that, you got this cool booklet. In the book, let's see if I can give it here. Let's switch it up here. The book is actually pretty well. It's actually a little folded by the book. It's the same artwork. It's the same poster book right here. So, there we go. And in addition to that, in this book, you have very interesting post of info of the movie itself, of the two main movie, the brothers. I think his name, I think the brother's name was Paul and then Chris, Christopher, I think, yeah. And it's have information about the movie itself. It's a little major um, slip book of how the uh, first movie was. And on the back, you got the movie chapters for each move for for each chapter of the movie itself. Oh we're basically nice good photographs of the uh, characters and all the stuff. I could give you a nice focus on. There we go. Pretty cool. So pretty obvious recently, pretty obvious recently that the uh, the first film was actually a lot more interesting which the kind of much of the bat. So let's put that Of course, I have the light Richard showing out, Richard, so you can probably, probably see it if you can. Uh, Jason Big did Richard the other kind of movie that I Richard did Mary Pie. Uh, he also did kind of like, I think, uh, I think Losers, I think Loser, I'm not sure what it was. Then we have American Pie 2. I don't have the standard version, or the un I mean, the unrated version of this. You got the tire cast, let's see, a little light. It's a little shiny. Let's see if I can put There we go. That's a little bit better. You got the tire crew, tire, I mean, you got the tire cast in one base of the order. On spine. You got Jim and Stiffer on both time and And in the back, you got 
pretty well loaded with different features. It's, I know basically the uh, the um, the already version has more feature aspects in it, but uh, I found out originally that this is actually the the only version you're gonna get originally on this version. So basically, for what it's worth, I think there we go. open it up. We have playing the nice plain old disc of American Pie. <clears throat> And you have a booklet. Let's talk about this right here. There we go. Have the booklet. Uh, so basically, let's see. Up, up. Uh, you have got the booklet. So along with, along with that. Go over it up. It's more information of the cast. This session was directed by, I think, I can't really remember his name. I think he was basically directed and did for kind of direct the movies which did, but I can't really pronounce it of it. But uh you got a nice really info which of based of the movie itself. It does a little bit of uh miniature as uh brochure and on the back you got the um chapter list of the movie. And you got photographs with based of the characters itself. I actually think, you know, she looks more gorgeous than this one right here. I think she looks probably gorgeous. I think I when I saw her, when I actually saw this, when I just saw her in some of the major movies, she wasn't really featured that much. So, for some reason, she never got much uh, screen time or in, in any, any kind of movie. She was only probably featured in some of the major movies, like American Pie and other, other kind of movies. But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. So, I taste there of that. Uh, American Pie is probably one of those movies that just basically I just enjoyed mid richly that I can basically sit down and watch richly. Let's see. This, uh, I probably won't be but uh, I'll be like this. There we go. I'll say this all over there. And then well, finally we got the American Reunion, or should I say American Pie 3. Okay, let's see what we can do. There we go. So you got just basically just the main cast, which, you know, kind of disappointed. This is at the Valen Rager version, once again. Spine. Back cover. That's a pretty well interesting uh, feature extra. And then we open up. We just got just the just the stuff along with basically the uh, booklet. A little made of paper sleeve of this movie called, uh, I can't really pronounce the name, but, you know, pretty interesting. On the back, there's a couple more, uh, Columbia, uh, University movies that basically just came out in, uh, let's see, 2003. Yeah, this movie came out in 2003, and this was basically, the first movie came out, uh, I think was, what is it, 99. And second film came out in 2002, and this came out in 2003. So this is probably a year. So these are probably a year old. Uh, blah, 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 blah. These probably a year old version when these movies came out. So let's put them in a nice one in order like this. Now we're gonna bring the camera back. And so there you go, the American Pie trilogy. Yeah, uh, I I had a blast watching watching all these movies, really. And I have to say, for what it's worth, it's pretty obvious that it's just um, one of those kind of movies that you're watching. I mean, I like these kind of movies because they're far more better written than any kind of teen movie which I watched or so over the past. But um, you know, it, it's just what it worth. So what's basically going on with the features is that on American Pie One, we have Spot of Location, uh, featured the commentary by director Paul and Paul Green and producer 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 Chris uh, Vinland, the writer, uh, writer uh, Chris producer Christopher Ron, Christopher Ron, I can't pronounce his name, uh, writer Adam Singland, and the cast of the member cast of, and the cast members. Uh, we have outtakes, uh, university reports, soundtrack with production, uh, music highlights. Uh, classic quotes, producing the notes, cast and filmmaker, cast and filmmaker, theatrical trailer, uh, university showcase, and a, C and a special DVD-ROM, DVD-ROM, 
features, including the behind the scenes. Yeah, that's a very wise decision that this is inspired. This really is this like a pretty cheapest buy that DVDs nowadays they have that CD, they have that DVD ROM system that you could basically put it on your computer, and it's like it just fires so quickly. So yeah, but uh, oh no, it's pretty obvious. So you do get first, you do get one behind the scenes look, and that's it. The uh, spotlight on location, which is pretty obvious that it's that this is a damn shame. Uh, Moving right along, we have for American Pie 2, we have load. Oh, they actually did this was pretty uh, obvious. <laughs> okay, over 10 hours of entertainment, special uh, special making of American Pie 2, hilarious outtakes and elite scenes. Jason Bitch warning: Do not try this at home. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty obvious. It's pretty uh, well convincing. Uh, cast screen tests. I mean, uh, I mean, well, yeah, cast screen tests from the original American Pie movie. Uh, behind the scenes craziness with the stars, reviews of the 10, top 10 scenes, uh, classic movie lines, uh, three, do three door down, three, three door down, be like that, the music video of the, and music highlights, uh, commentary with the director, writer, and cast members, uh, and, uh, filmmaker, produ film, uh, film production notes and filmmaking, uh, blogs, and all new brand, and it says originally uh, on the final, ver on the final dial, no, on the final for on the on the on the version on blah 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 blah. I can't speak. And then we have access more of your universal access of the DVD ROM. And that's the thing I wish about. I hate those things. They're just so damn bullshit. Because once you get a DVD that you think you're gonna get uh, more expensive uh, stuff on a DVD disc, it's pretty obvious it's gonna be inspired. So that's just so. Bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's it's really just a damn shame. But anyway, moving right along, we have uh, American Waiting. Uh, they actually did this pretty uh, different originally uh, than the other two originally. So we have yeah, it's pretty obvious. I'm based on that. So okay, let's start. It says see the exclusive excuse, uh, see the exclusive see the exclusive movie with more outrageous fun, including more bachelor party. Uh, special features, unrated, uh, exclusive, enter the dominant of inside the bachelor party, uncensored, ooh, uncensored, that's pretty obvious, yeah, that's really, uh, groom, uh, groom the ground, uh, hilarious to leave scenes and outtakes, uh, sh uh, stiffer speaks, the, the time is boom boom with the bride's face, yeah, uh, it's pretty, uh, awesome, uh, do uh, document, uh, well, I should say, uh, interview based of how, um, I forgot his name was, but the, but the guy who plays Stifler, uh, really tell about his basic experience about playing the character originally, and the video is interesting. Cheesy wedding video, yeah, that's a pretty cheesy, it's like a very kind of a, not like an actual wedding video, it's actually just a, a fake belief wedding video that, um, they just put that version on this version. And much more, including, and also including a full laundry, the rating, full, full laundry rating, Version, yeah, that's a pretty obvious why that this is basically the unrated version. So yeah, I will eventually come around and get these all three of them on Blu-ray version. The only problem is basically the price is a little bit too much of of, of these three sets or say. And I got the first movie. I think I got the second film version after originally when I was got to get the first movie because when I was watching the first film, I was pretty obvious that I got to watch the first film because I seen the second film. But I kind of watched the first, which is so I kind of got to mix them all kind of up until I, when, I saw, when I got the chance watching the uh, third film. And um, it's pretty obvious I just got confused with which one was probably the first and which one was probably the, the second. So uh, so bear in mind, I'm just kind of confused which one comes about. So yeah, American Pie movie. Definitely get them if you want to get them on Blu-ray. Uh, I will eventually come around and see American uh Reunion someday, and I just gotta really find it. I just gotta really properly wait until um, I get my thoughts which about the film and stuff, and then maybe I can talk about it into a movie review if I can. And that's pretty much basically it. There's more. There's no more I can say about it. Just a way uh, great some of the movies, and um, I have to say for what it's worth, I I enjoy it. I really did. So that pretty much ends up this week for you now for all the American Pie movies. They've been playing, playing more reviews, maybe probably more updates I could basically do. So yeah, till the next time. Until then, just say it
Thank you for watching and sayonara. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think it's time we could just uh, move on but basically with the DVDs, Blu-ray updates and start going back to originally the reviews. Oh yeah, I basically just want to basically do some uh, more mini reviews which say of basically personally movies I enjoy watching. Uh, this time around, we're going to review none of them than this one type of movie that probably everybody is basically talking about originally now, originally with the uh, fourth movie coming out today. Uh, really just basically have no competitorship with basically with the proper sequels and prequels and all this stuff. I am really, of course, talking about the American Pie Trilogy. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I am Fresh Marjorie Reviews. Hey, Fresh Marjorie. Welcome back. Well, what can I say about the American Pie Trilogy? It's probably the one leases, and probably the far more teen comedy movies that out there originally. Now, to be said, there's an air, what do you know much about the American Pie movie? You wasn't even born this time. The first movie came out in 1999. Well, let's just say I was nearly tried to was born early to quite late, but as I was basically was heard about the uh, the movies itself, I was pretty obvious to kind of check them out. So, what I felt about the films itself, well, obviously I had no problem with them, because, like, it's really kind of based on, not this, like, kind of like the, uh, what can I, how can I say it, but, how can I say it? Um, it's more kind of like, meets, uh, Adam House to Porky's. But the only thing I find it pretty obvious about, uh, about the trilogy itself, is that in the first film, you get to see the more, um, how can I say, more kind of just be more sensitive to himself, but he does which is stride himself with towards a very attractive with women, especially with Stifler's mom. I mean, it's just like obvious that, that scene when he and the Stifler's mom are just having sex, and then uh, in another scene when Stifler comes into the, uh, I guess, the pool room when they were finished having sex, and Stifler was just having a horrible shock. I mean, it's just like a disaster, which is hilarious. I'm seeing him just basically being so poor when see his mother just having sex with a, with a teenager. But, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a popular part of it. Uh, but I love how the first movie was really kind of corporate. Now, uh, in the second film, it's pretty obvious the same thing as, as the first version. But the only thing that's different is, is you see all the gang which they come together as as one big group, it's, it's like summer camp. It's like originally they, they went to college and they go into this uh, summer beach uh, uh, field that they spend, you know, quality time with together and try to, you know, have a good time and spend, you know, what it's, it's kind of almost like, um, I don't know which movie it was, but it's kind of, it, it feels like kind of like that movie that you want to feel like that you really are in a very wonderful time uh, and in a wonderful place of the place. That you could just have a ball, you just have a great time together with you and your friends and all the time. And it really kind of explains that reason. The only thing I find obvious which is that in the first film, in the first film, um, Nadia, who is the estranged student, uh, had a very considerable interest, interest with Jim, but Jim didn't ever got a chance with Nadia. So, <laughs> so when he set up the webcam, they're trying to have, you know, his quote unquote friends were say to, you know, see him having sex with Nadia, um, he kind of just kind of gets nervous and starts to, I guess, you know, I hate to use the word shit his pants, but actually just piss his pants. Because, you know, you know, when you're basically, you know, nervous and having sex for the first time, you just kind of get to them. But um, in the second film, when he's trying to have into a little bit with Nadia, <laughs> he gets some life lessons with the band named Michelle. Who in the first film the jokes are pretty well funny, but I like the fact which that they make uh, the film itself because the writer name uh, what's his face Adam uh, I can't pronounce his name but uh, Adam 
really want to make a film to based on that really uh, you know high school field. And when I was watching it, I think in probably the age probably the age seventeen when I start watching the first film and then start going on with the second and third, um, is you get to see the characters in their proper Gandra form. Like, for instance, Jim is more the, the topical, uh, shy, contemporary, insect uh, dude. Uh, um, Kevin is more like the kind of like trying to be in with his girlfriend and trying to tell her that she that he loves her so much, but uh, it didn't work that way towards the end. Um, you got Ozzy, who you got Oz, who is basically this this the the counter of Jock, who is actually the nice guy, which the, the natural, the typical nice guy field. And it's pretty obvious of that, which is, that character is a lot more interesting, usually. But I think the one character I think I find pretty obvious, and this is probably a lot of fans out there who. Who enjoys this character so much is Stifler because he's like the typical jock, asshole, douchebag, um, all around a funny guy. But he he comes in a stride and be as a kind of a little bit just a little bit juicy because you don't see him you know be too hard on the of the gang. You see him be more just a little tender just you know get some uh, get the boys more consensus. A sense of their self trying to you know eventually get laid with because that's where the basic movie starts off. It starts off originally about a bunch of you know, Kev, a bunch of Jim and the others trying to you know having sex for the first time when they graduate from uh, from high school and you know all that stuff originally and just yeah, <laughs> they they prefer to get stuff laid after when they graduate. That's what Kev is trying to get the boys to get to do. Uh, you get this, but the only thing I'm pretty obvious is about the other character uh, Finch. Um, He's kind of like the very kind of the calm, smooth, very well kind of peaceful guy. Finch is more kind of like that kind of some uh, similar of a character who uh, convinces himself to be there's a, there's a little bit more scenes about him and scene, there's a little bit more scenes of Jim and the pie sequence where him is basically on the uh, front on the on the top of the counter of the kitchen countertop, but. Uh, <laughs> What can I say about it is that that's probably the most hilarious scene in the film. But I think the most, probably the funniest scene and probably the most bearish scene was just of all time is when Jim's dad uh, brings uh, him some porno magazines and <laughs> and explains a little bit of how the women's, you know, you know, general body parts are supposed to be like, you know, for I think, you know, I think one, I think he was saying about the female format, female form of how the press are, are like to, of course, in, in, in the pubic area originally. I mean, when you're basically a you know a teenager, you get privy, you experience about the sex, sex and everything else, how it feels, how do you really feel like. Now, for, to me, as a 24 year old, I always think that in certain in certain uh, sex teen comedy, it's also been mentioned a bit about you know drama, about drama and major play, and that's where of course but with this one because you get. Not only basic comedy or basically just out laugh out loud funny, but you also get like a little bit of drama. Like you get to see the 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 characters driven towards the other characters. Like I think when um uh what's this character? What's this other character's face? Uh Ozzy, who basically was trying to date this uh uh this perfect nice girl who is basically singing to a choir and he's trying to not to basically, you know, get into it with this with this girl, but he's also very attracted to her. So in the course of basically towards the first film, you get to see him, you know, explaining him explaining his his uh his thoughts that yes, he's a virgin and yes he's trying to not to just like uh get to into it with the with any kind of girl. He wants a uh very sensible girl who can, you know, fall in love with and be, you know, flirt with and all that stuff. You know, that's a that's a that's a whole wise which you know, we as, you know, uh, young uh, people, as we live in the real world, we see ourselves as you know maybe attractions with basically with somebody. But uh, that being said, it's pretty obvious that yeah, <laughs> uh, that couple of guys, well, for instance, you know, in the part of the plot of the story, in the proper the of the, uh, the plot, I had no problem with basically what they were. Uh, well, well, let's see. I don't probably have no gains of this, what the film itself is basically uh, stands for, but the only thing I find it pretty obvious about the, the first film, uh, of course, basically in the first film we get to see 
the boys eventually, you know, plan on having sex for the first time after they graduate from high school. Which, um, pretty obvious, which is that that stands for a lot of which about uh, the wackiness and the goofiest and probably the most serious of scenes you've probably ever been managed. Especially, I think, um, what's his face, which is uh, what the actor's name, um, Jason Biggs, uh, played by, uh, play the character Jim, <laughs> have very contentious uh, counter that were basically uh, humping a pie. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious that that scene, it's pretty much funny originally, but when I was watching it, I'm thinking, well, the way that, you know, the character Jim experienced it based on what it feels like being third place feels like, it's pretty obvious that he had a very similar idea to just go for a, a way in space to say, you know, I'm going to hump this apple pie that my mother made for me, and I'm just going to go right to space to do that. And then I do like the scene where she, when he's basically uh, on the countertop of the kitchen, which is uh, kind of obvious that you get to see him just humping the pie version. Because uh, on, uh, on this version here, you have him versus standing on the, on the kitchen counter while his dad is basically coming around in the kitchen and seeing him basically on top of the pie. But there's actually two scenes which are basically. There's one which is the actual version and one to the uh, this version right here I have it in my hand. So the obvious thing about the, about this one is actually far more outrageous which and I haven't originally got around to watch the uh, regular version. But I have originally watched the, the the actual movie version of it. And it's pretty obvious that that scene which is him is like saying uh, uh, front of the uh, kitchen counter which is going to be on the top of the kitchen counter which is pretty obvious that 